Hello, beautiful people. Well, like I always say around here, you love who you love, you like who you like. But you got to deal with the consequences of your actions. It's been reported by TMZ that Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, was arrested in California. He was arrested in California, uh, turned himself in uh, to federal custody on Wednesday. Petty moved to California in July 2019, but according to law enforcement, he got pulled over in Beverly Hills back in November. And that's when his legal stuff started. Well, not really. He's been had a long history of legal stuff, but that's where his legal problem started there in California. Uh, Beverly Hills PD made a traffic stop in November and determined that Petty was a registered sex offender in New York State, but he did not register in California as required. Uh, he was re arrested on today and released on a 20,000 bond, uh, the LA County DA charged him with failing to register as a sex offender. It appears that Mr. Petty didn't check in after that because now the feds are in on the case. He was indicted in federal court for the same thing, failing to register. So in 1995, Kenneth Petty, um, rap sheet included we got a long rap sheet a 1995 conviction for first degree attempted rape he served almost four years in new york state prison for the crime and was required to register as a sex offender if convicted on the federal charge for failure to register kenneth faces up to 10 years in prison this is mr Nicki minaj this is Nicki Minaj's husband. Uh, as many of you probably know, Nicki Minaj, a rapper, singer, or rapper rather, uh, Young Money rac Records under Lil Wayne. She kind of followed in the footsteps of a little Kim as far as sexy, sexual, provocative type of songs and attire. And of course, Megan the Stallion now following the footsteps of Little Kim. Um, of course, Little Kim fans will debate as far as Megan Thee Stallion's following in the footsteps of uh, Little Kim. But you all get the picture. You know, she's she's a female rapper, and her husband, yes, her husband, Mr. Kenneth Petty, uh, was arrested for not filing as a sexual offender. What's up with this sexual offender and rape stuff as far as Nicki Minaj having around and in her life. I mean, wasn't her brother? Yeah, her brother was recently convicted. Um, let me see if I got a picture of this guy. That guy right there. Her brother, Jelena Mirage, J E L A N I Mirage the older brother of rapper Nicki Minaj. This was back in um, November 2017, was found guilty of predatory sexual assault, being charged with repeatedly raping an 11-year-old girl at his Long Island, New York home. Yikes, 11-year-old. He was arrested in 2015, so that's, Nicki Minaj's brother and now uh, her husband, this guy, uh, Kenneth Petty, Mr. Mick Nicki Minaj has a criminal background record as well. What What's the deal with this? I mean, is, you know how ladies, I guess, like the bad boys, I don't know. I mean, Nicki Minaj, millionaire, I guess, I'm sure. Very wealthy lady, great career as a rapper, paid her dues, worked her behind off. And she goes and marries this guy that that has a criminal past. A bad boy? I don't know. Sometimes these ladies like the bad boys. I don't know. I don't get it. But let's look at Mr. Kenneth. Petty, Mr. Nicki Minaj.
as like I prefer to call her. He prefers to go by the name Zeus. Uh, his government name is Petty, but um, Nikki referred to her partner as Zoo. Z Z O O Zoo, not Zoo Zeus, but Zoo. A nickname he picked up as a kid from his days in Queens. Um, Petty and Minaj were childhood friends in Queens. Um, they, let's see, Zoo were first a couple when Minaj was 16 years old and still living in Queens long before her rap dreams. Okay, so they have history together, um, which is fine and dandy, but sometimes you got to learn to let the things of the past go. Jeez, I got some childhood friends that invite me over for a barbecue today. I'm not going anywhere near it. Females and males. Are you kidding me? Let's see. Uh, Mr. Petty, he's familiar with the criminal court system. He has a history of criminal activity. Petty boasts quite the gallery of mug shots. Uh, as a teen, Petty was convicted of attempted rape back in 1995. What the hell? He later pleaded guilty to manslaughter, manslaughter charges in 2006 following gunfire that resulted in the death of Lamont Robinson in 2002. Additionally reported that Petty has been on supervised release program for 2013 to 2018 after serving seven years behind bars. Nicki Minaj can have any man in the world. Goes back to a child sweetheart, childhood sweetheart with a lengthy past. Maybe so the whole bad boy thing, you know, thug. I want to, I want a uh, roughneck, salt and pepper back in the day. I want a thug. Is that what it is? You like who you like, you love who you love, but there's consequences for your actions. Minaj recently clapped back at fans who criticized Petty's past, okay? She said he was 15, she was 16 in a relationship, but go on the internet, y'all can't run run my life, y'all can't even run your own life, she said. Oh, uh, okay. She got defensive about it. So he's 41 years old. Um, his rap sheet has him booked with a date of birth, April the 7th, 1978. He and Nicki Minaj got married October the 21st. Nicki Minaj went public with the marriage news on Tuesday, October the 22nd, uh, saying the pair officially tied the knot on Monday, October the 21st. All right. Um, the coinciding clip showed off gifts of matching Mr. and Mrs. Muggs along with um, bride and groom caps. All right. Um, let's see how long they've been married. October the 21st. Not long at all. Okay. What else do we know about Mr. Mr. Petty? I guess that's all we need to know. Um, See, I don't, I don't, you like who you like, you love who you love. I get that. Um, but once again, what's blowing my mind is world-class performer, superstar in her own rights, Nicki Minaj could have probably any man that she wanted to have. Um, but yet she goes with this guy that has this troubled past. Actually, Recently, she was in Trinidad. She got criticism about this guy always being up under her, almost like a bodyguard, and they were on a float or something, and um, another entertainer was trying to reach out to her. He pushed her arm back like, get back. <laughs> so anyway, hope the young man works it out. I mean, he has... He has a golden ticket. I mean, he got a meal ticket. He's married to Nicki Minaj. Dude, register. 
Come on, man. Register as a offender, whatever you need to do. Um, Because obviously Nicki Minaj has looked beyond that. But you don't need to be getting locked up on silly stuff like this to bring attention to you because then you get people like me talking about you. Come on. But I do want to ask the question, why is it that it seems like women seem to like the bad boy, the thugged out type of guy? Is it is it that mystery? Is it that mystique? Is that, you know, he's on the edge and then he has you on the edge because you never know when he's going to go upside your head? I mean, is it the passion in the bedroom? I mean, what what is it that attracts so many women to these quote unquote bad boys. Can anybody explain that to me? And as well, guys, you know, there's guys that like, like the bad girls. <laughs> and speaking from experience, Oh man, I had this girlfriend back in the day. I'm not going to say her name, but let me put it to you this way. If we could live our lives in the bedroom and in the bed, if we could live our lives in the bedroom, oh, what a glorious life that would be. But we had to come out the bedroom. <laughs> and when we came out the bedroom, that's when that bipolar and all those other things start coming out that like, uh-uh. This chick is cuckoo for Cocoa Pups. You know, so uh, for my sanity, sanity, and to prevent me from getting locked up, you ever met a chick? I was a chick, girl, female, that just, like I said, she was crazy. So in the bedroom, it was beautiful, but she was crazy. She would sit there and call me out my name and just push the buttons to make me angry, to cause me to act out of my character. And when she saw that anger, that she could push my buttons, that kind of got her off. And I mean, the makeup sex was beautiful, but if I would have stayed with that chick, I would either been dead in the grave or in somebody's prison by now because uh, it was just a, New word I learned from my daughter. It was a toxic relationship. So I kind of got off track, but but yeah, you kind of wonder, you know, why is it that that these ladies like these these bad boys? I remember back in the day I worked for the federal government and um I would get in there early because you had swing shifts, you can come in there early, flexible scheduling, and I'll come in early and then by eight or nine o'clock I'll go down and get me a cup of coffee out, you know, from the, the store down in the building, and I'll just stand in the lobby. And I watched the countless numbers of females driving nice cars, pulling up in their nice cars, getting out to go into the office. And their man clearly not dressed in any type of fashion to go to anybody's job, gets out the passenger seat and takes their nice car and goes home or wherever he's going. But he was not punching nobody's clock nowhere. And I saw that and it just, it just made me wonder, you know, this, what would make a, a lady get with a, a dude that's not doing anything or that you're supporting. And I understand being a superstar like Nicki Minaj, it could be difficult to find somebody that's on your level financially, but gee whiz. Can't you find somebody that doesn't have a criminal record? Can't you find somebody that has some type of career? Or he's just Mr. Nicki Minaj. Anyway, I'm done rambling. You like who you like, you love who you love. But you got to deal with the consequences. Mr. Kenneth Petty, Mr. Mr. Nicki Minaj arrested for not registering as a sex offender in California. Love yourself.
be nice to others. Live, love, and laugh. Y'all have a nice day, and maybe I might just see you around the way. Take care, y'all.